James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 14th, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We have two tropical waves that have come off the coast of Africa. Currently, they've been given a 20% chance of formation over the next several days. These very well could be headed towards the United States, depending on how things work out. Now, there's a good chance that these won't form because of the heavy Sahara dust storm that is covering the Atlantic Ocean that we will take a look at. But before we do that, let's take a look at the Pacific Ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, we have two disturbances, one with a 40% chance of formation, another one with a 90% chance of formation just off the Central American coast. We also have Hurricane Fernanda that is barreling towards Hawaii. And then we have Tropical Storm Greg, which appears to be just south of Hawaii and will most probably miss Hawaii entirely. Here's a close-up of Greg moving towards the west directly and it should pass under Hawaii, although it might become a problem for the Asia area. Now, these are the two disturbances that I showed you coming off of the continent of Africa. Now, they're exactly on this straight line that it looked like the laser beam was shining on and the white light moved across on our video from earlier this week. This also moves into that same area where they have the two storms, one with a 90% chance of formation and one with a 40% chance of formation forming right here. So everything is in a straight line. Very strange indeed. We also have a disturbance here in the Gulf of Mexico that is hitting the Gulf Coast of Florida as we speak. Now, with all that said, we have a Saharan air layer forecast, and this is actually over the Caribbean. You can see how thick the sand is coming off Africa. Most of the time, this will ensure that no tropical systems actually can form, at least fully. So, we'll play through this. This just gives us about 48 hours at the most. But you can see how fast the sand and dust storm is moving, completely covering the Caribbean, Venezuela, parts of Colombia, Central America, Florida, and then it will push up, covering most of the U.S., or at least the southern U.S. and Central Plains. This heavy dust storm is most likely to tear apart the two tropical storms or tropical waves coming off of the African continent currently. We will keep an eye on this and keep you updated. Take a look at AccuWeather.com. We see a perfect line here making a beeline over Venezuela and Colombia right to the area where we have the two tropical storms developing, one with a 40% chance, one with a 90% chance. Here we have an actual hurricane and this right here is Tropical Storm Greg. We also see a lot of activity over here in the east, especially something hitting Japan currently. And we'll put this in motion, but this is all going to be moving due west and could affect the east in a few days' time. And you can see that these are the storms in question. And these storms don't seem to form, but we're only looking at a few hours of time here. Just to quickly recap, these are the two tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. I do believe that the Sierra dust slash sandstorm will make it impossible for these storms to form, although they have been given a good chance of formation over the next few days. We haven't had a hurricane hit mainland United States yet this entire season, and it is mid-August. With that said, God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.